Home Office could fail to register the 3 million EU citizens living in the UK before Brexit, the veteran politician Servince Cable has claimed, saying the Windrush scandal exposed key efficiency issues at the department. Speaking on BBC News, Servince said, Putting on one side this very, very difficult issue around the Windrush victims who were terribly badly treated, and there rest the issue about how you sort that out, and compensation you've got a department, that just isn't a function efficiently. I'm an MP. Every Friday night at my advice surgery I get people coming, because documents that were supposed to be sorted out in six months, are taking 18 months. They're losing their jobs, their homes, simply because of inefficiency. And yet we're Told under the Brexit negotiations, next year the Home Office is going to have to register 3 million people. After that track record, it is impossible to see how, how they are going to cope with this kind of problem. BBC News, Jet if Home Office could fail to register millions of you citizen, Vince Cable claimed UV got a department that just isn't a function efficiently in Cable so there is a massive administrative competence question over and above the unfairness associated with many individual cases. Amber Rudd resigned as Home Secretary on Sunday amid claims she had misled Parliament over targets for removing illegal migrants. Ms Rudd told a parliamentary committee last week that the government had no specific targets for the removal of illegal immigrants. But critics claimed she misled Parliament when a leaked Home Office memo referred to a target of 2,800 enforced returns for 2017-18. In her letter to Mrs May, Ms Rudd said, I feel it is necessary to do so, because I inadvertently misled the Home Affairs Select Committee over targets for removal of illegal immigrants during their questions on Windrush. Quote, Since appearing before the Select Committee, I have reviewed the advice I was given on this issue, and become aware of information provided to my office which makes mention of targets. Quote, I should have been aware of this, and I take full responsibility for the fact that I was not. Quote, commenting on the Windrush scandal specifically, she added, The Windrush scandal has rightly shown a light on an important issue for our country. As so often, the instincts of the British people are right. They want people who have a right to live here to be treated fairly and humanely, which has sometimes not been the case. In 2012, Theresa May, as Home Secretary, said, The aim is to create, here in Britain, a really hostile environment for illegal immigrants. Thousands of Windrush migrants who arrived in the UK after World War II have been threatened with deportation amid rule changes. The Windrush families, named after the Empire Windrush ship which initially brought families over to rebuild post-war Britain, became subject to the ruling in 2012 which aimed to put an end to overstaying. Legal status changed overnight despite living, working, and paying tax in Britain for decades, because they do not have sufficient paperwork to prove they have the right to be in the UK. The Windrush migrants were advised that they need to produce evidence including passports to continue working or receiving treatment from the NHS. But the majority arrived in Britain on parents' passports and never applied for travel documents. The Home Office has since announced a package of measures aimed at helping members of the Windrush generation gain official British citizenship as the government attempts to limit the fallout from the scandal. It also announced that any fees associated with becoming a British citizen would be waived for Windrush migrants.